unveiled for the first time. Researchers are calling it Levithian and they've been speaking to our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. Meet Leviathan, a powerful, fearsome monster, an imaginary creature of myth and legend until now. Researchers discovered its fossilized remains here in the deserts of southern Peru. In this expedition video, the scientists recorded the moment they stumbled across their remarkable find, which they're now covering with plaster to take a cast. Experts at the Natural History Museum in Paris were among the first to realize the importance of the find. We immediately uh, saw that it was a very large tooth whale because the, the teeth were, were visible at, at the surface and looking at it uh, from a closer view we realized that it was a giant uh, sperm whale with, with huge teeth. The Leviathan had gigantic jaws, much like the whales of today. But today's whales have relatively small teeth. Compare them with the tooth of the Leviathan large and powerful enough to rip apart dolphins, sharks, even other whales. And here's Leviathan's actual jaw, easily large enough to engulf a grown man. Writing in the journal Nature, the researchers say that its teeth suggest that Leviathan was likely to be fierce and aggressive, even engaging in titanic battles. We can't say that it was a sea monster. It was a terrific, enormous animal. And at the same time, there was a giant shark who was living, which was living with him, a shark, giant shark about approximately 15 meters long. And it's not impossible that they may have fight together. Leviathan eventually died out to be replaced by these more gentle sperm whales. But today's discovery confirms that long ago, there really were sea monsters from the deep. Gauche, BBC News.